Now, if Kensington Palace wanted a picture to paint a thousand words, instead, it's posed a thousand questions. After months missing from public view, this image posted on Mothering Sunday was supposed to shut down speculation surrounding Kate Middleton. Instead, it spectacularly backfired when some of the world's largest news agencies withdrew the picture with a kill notice after concerns it had been manipulated. It's hugely embarrassing for Kensington Palace, bearing in mind that William and Kate are the future of our monarchy. They're meant to be the fresh, bold new face of British monarchy. It's gone horribly wrong in the immediate term. But even when this media feeding frenzy dies down, I think that the embers left behind are a reminder of a larger existential crisis that faces the House of Windsor, which the singular popularity of the late Queen masked. Now she's gone, what do they stand for and who is able to replace her? These are the areas which, at a closer look, are now being scrutinised by the experts. Exhibit A, a smiling family photo, but zoom in and the jumper on Princess Charlotte's wrist appears to have disappeared while Kate Middleton's zip is clearly not aligned. On the bottom left, the line of the wall looks like it's been cut in half. And if we're going to get really forensic about this, there are many more signs of photo editing, which can be seen on this image. And then came another plot twist in the whodunit Photoshop saga, with the Duchess herself claiming responsibility for the DIY job. Saying, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. The Mothering Sunday post is the first time the Princess of Wales has publicly commented since the palace announced in January she was receiving treatment for abdominal surgery, but would not expand further. The silence from the palace on what they view as a private matter has only prompted a wild west of self-confessed Kate Middleton conspiracy theorists who have been busy online filling in the blanks. I'm literally obsessed like obsessed with all the Twitter Kate Middleton conspiracy theories because so like, if the hope was that the Mother's Day update would draw a line under those swirling theories then it has only fueled the fire of armchair detectives who have launched their own deep dive investigations on TikTok this is not an official source of information of course, you don't have to have seen The Crown to know the palace has always closely managed its image with the press. Royal portraits and royal photos are always not exactly what the royals look like. Just think of Elizabeth I. She, she didn't look like the Armada portraits. And we often see a bit of Photoshop, a bit of filter. I mean, last Christmas photo, Louis was missing a finger. The eagle-eyed internet sleuth notice. But the levels of Photoshop on this clearly are much greater. The news the palace would probably prefer was reported the royals back in action at the annual Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. While Kate didn't attend, she was seen with William today leaving Windsor Castle in a car. Outside the Abbey, anti-monarchy protesters did attend, providing their own less than favourable slogans, as King Charles also released this pre-recorded video message. In recent weeks, I have been most deeply touched by your wonderfully kind and thoughtful good wishes for my health. But instead of killing the story surrounding the Princess of Wales, this photo has become front page news.